Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a guide for Oblivion, full controller support, including adding in the unofficial patch, along with potentially adding some graphical upgrades. Uh, you may, may be wondering why I'm doing this, and if you're a subscriber, you'll know that I've already got done two of these videos, but I've gone ahead and done this one as my 2025 version which I've made it I made a few mistakes in my previous video and uh, I wanted to correct those and also make this to remind people that you, the remastered version it runs like rubbish where the original here runs like butter so my recommendation is until they patch uh, remastered maybe just play the original um, but I mean that's really up to you I, I see a lot of people coping but here we are so without further ado, we'll go through our install guide along with how I've got my controllers set up and we'll go from there. All right, guys, we'll see you in the minute. First thing you want to do is download the game, of course. Secondly, load the game up in its OG state. Just run around for a second. You don't have, you don't even have to play it. You just need to get to the main menu, but I just loaded in and played for a moment. Uh, and then after that, go once you've done that, quit and head over to desktop and you can do that by simply pushing the Steam button, going down to power and then desktop mode. And we'll hit see you on desktop. Once you hit desktop mode, you're going to want to download some files. So make sure you've got your Internet Explorer installed, which you can get from the Discover store. And I'll link these in the comments in the uh, description below. Uh, so the first one you're going to want is XOBSE. This is basically our... Uh, mod controller which we need without this nothing else will work so we're going to download that of course that won't take very long they're pretty small files next one we want is sky bsa again this is another mod controlling lets you it injects it basically into the game so you definitely need this as well these are two mandatory uh mods to get basically to let mods work so as you can see the that uh, Sky requires OBC uh, and we can go ahead you will need to create a Nexus mod uh, Nexus account uh, to be able to download these so make sure you down make a Nexus account first or you will have to do that as you go, try to download it again these are very small files uh, which take barely any time and the last one we want here is Northern UI now this is what's going to give us our full controller support for the original Oblivion on the Steam Deck uh, there's two versions you can do vanilla or you can do the full version which is what I'm going to do personally um, if you want to do vanilla you can follow the same steps and you'll get the same results but you won't get the updated UI but you will get the controller support the biggest downside though is you're not going to get button prompts in Xbox button prompts so um, you will have to just you know fiddle by like you should know the buttons but if you you want to you can do it that way i personally like the updated ui if i find it easier to navigate it's more skyrim-esque uh, which not everybody likes but i prefer it uh, at the moment so go ahead and download that and we'll download the unofficial uh patch later because we don't want to overdo it we just want to make sure our primary mod is running and allowing us to play games uh, the game the way it's designed in desktop mode load up steam and go to your library find uh, oblivion right click on it using the left trigger and go to explore files and you'll see that this is the file location for oblivion on our steam deck and we can go to our downloads folder and you can see we've got our downloads here i'm just going to put the vanilla ui over there because i was going to show both but i don't think there's a need to so first thing we want to do is we're going to cut our version of o e OBC or paste, uh, copy or cut, and then we're going to paste it in this directory where the Oblivion EXE is. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to extract it here. I, found, I find this is going to be much easier for people uh, than the way I was doing it earlier. So we're just going to go extract here. And then you can simply delete that zipped file or, do, or or save it for later if you muck it up. You can start from the beginning from fresh and you've still got that uh, file there uh, allowing you to do that. So we're going to head back to our downloads here. We're going to do our Sky BSA next. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to extract it here. 
we don't need to um, copy this whole file over and extract it within. So we're just going to extract the Sky BSA here. So we go down, extract, and then we're going to either copy or cut to, uh, up to you. I'm just going to make a cut. We're then going to load up the data file and then we're going to paste it within data and we're going to overwrite or write into, okay? So that's all we have to do is go data and then paste that OBSC file there and it will say write into, go ahead and do that. And then our last one is the Northern UI. And so for Northern UI, I'm going to cut this or copy it up to you as we're going to just move this whole zipped file in there. It just makes it a lot easier. So we're just going to go cut. Then in the data file, we're going to paste it in here. And then we're going to find it and we're going to extract it here. Done. Again, you can then delete uh, the zip file or store it if you want to try again if something goes wrong. But you should be in a pretty good spot here. And then once we've done that, we've got one more step we need to make to the Oblivion folder in general. The final step is we're going to need to put a command line in the folder for Oblivion. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back one to common, find our Oblivion folder. And we're going to go open command here and we're going to paste the command line that I will have in this description below. Uh, bring up the onboard keyboard by holding the steam button and pushing X. Then you can pull right trigger to press enter and you'll get this little prompt saying it's loaded. Uh, what that does is it means that the game will load up using OBSC uh, without needing to put a command line in Steam. With that we'll go test it here in desktop mode just to make sure everything's working. Um, and if you're trying to control the mouse and stuff while on the screen just simply hold the Steam button and use the trackpad to move around. Um, you can go here, here and change your graphical settings and max everything out like I've done uh, and then put it on the right resolution. I mean you could play it in desktop mode if you wanted but it will, you know, it's worth just testing to make sure everything's running before you uh, head back to game mode. Then push play and we'll load, it should load up without any issues. Here we go. Now you'll know if you've done it right because your load screen will look slightly different and your home screen will look more like Skyrim. Um, and just load up a save, but you can also go into the options here, which I'm going to do and just show you around. They give you uh, in Northern UI way more options in here, which is really nice. Um, video options, you can start maxing out a ton of options here, which is really cool. Um, they give you much longer uh, distances and grass and all these extra effects which is really cool and view distance of course you don't want to turn these up if you want your battery life to last longer but you could you i mean you know up to you um one other option too for getting a good battery life out of oblivion would be to put lock it at 40 frames per second in steam game mode uh using the uh steam fps lock and that will really pull out your battery life you could also drop the tdp I haven't actually bothered to do that, but that's definitely something you could do. But yeah, go ahead, have a look through all your options here. Um, one option that you will want to do is in the controller, I went ahead and I increased the uh, sensitivity by two. I found it was just moving a little bit slow for my liking, and you can also rebind your keys from in here. Um, the only thing that you really need to do is uh, set up your radial wheel manually because it doesn't really have it built in here and uh, that's just for your quick menu so you can do it in a few different ways and what I did is I uh, set up my left trackpad as a radial wheel one through eight and then I can just do it that way but I will have a controller scheme available for download so you don't have to do it yourself and we'll go over that later as you can see everything here is working like a charm i'm just testing it all out and making sure it's working as thing as i'm feeling the analog stick is moving a little bit slow so you i'll show you here how you can increase the um, sensitivity and then once you've done that uh, you're basically set with controls it's not under controls it's under gamepad and then yeah i just put these up to two 
You could almost go up to three if you wanted for a extra um, extra sensitivity, but you'll see here, much better. So that's it. What you're basically done. If you don't want to do anything else, you could just play the game as is, and everything's sorted. So as you can see here, this is what the menus look like. I prefer this way more than trying to use the original menus in Oblivion, especially for controller on PC, um, as it's a lot more simpler to navigate. So while vanilla will look vanilla, uh, the menus are very are still awkward to navigate, even though they've got full controller support, this is just a much faster way to get around. So my that's my two cents in all this. But before we move on to my full-on controller guide, we're going to have a look at how to install the unofficial patch. All right, let's go. So we're going to head back over to Nexus and we're download the official Oblivion patch, unofficial Oblivion patch. Uh, I will have a link for this in the description below. Also, there is an unofficial patch for Shivering Isles and all the DLCs. So it's recommended you do all of them. For this video, I'm only going to do the unofficial main game patch, but their process would be pretty much the same for all of them. Uh, so go ahead and download the unofficial Oblivion patch. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Go ahead and download this. This is not too big. It's a bit bigger than the other files. It's like 16 megabytes, but nothing bad. So we're just going to copy that and we're going to paste that in our oblivion folder in data okay sort of like what we did with northern ui we're going to paste that in here and then we're just going to extract and this will take a moment and then once we've done that we have what well, one more step to do to load it up basically and once you've done that you're good to go you can delete this file or save it for later in case you need to redo this. I normally just put all these in folders on my SD card. Uh, so in desktop mode, load up Oblivion. Um, and once it loads up, make sure you go to data, as you'll see here momentarily. This is taking a wee while to load, but I think it's because we've added all these files. So we're going to go to data files. Again, you're going to need to hold the Steam button while doing this and use the right trackpad. And we're just gonna double click on these to tick them. As you can see here, we're gonna go like that and see we've turned it on. And you don't have to turn on the vampire one, I just turned it on because I could. Um, but don't turn on the uh, Oblivion Master, just leave that one and then go okay. And then once we load into the game, I'm gonna fast forward here to in game. And you'll see in the top left corner, if you've done this correctly, you'll get a icon pop up in the top left saying uh, unofficial oblivion patch added. So you'll know that it's worked and you're away laughing. So without further ado, that is our guide for installing oblivion on your Steam Deck. Um, of course, there's more mods you could go for, but the more mods you add, the higher chance you're gonna break the game. Um, and I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible. But before we end, I'm going to go over my controls, which you can search up uh, by looking for King Salami Oblivion. And to do that, you go over to the controller icon on your uh, game mode, scroll across to search, make sure you push X to search all, and then just type in King Salami, and you'll find it in amongst my other um, controller schemes. So I'll show you what it does. The first thing I'm going to go over is how to add things to your quick item wheel. So say you want to add one of these items here, you would use the left trackpad to bring up and hold it in the direction you want. You'll see it'll pop up by holding like, you know, to the left or to the right. And then you would push A to add that item to that slot. So you highlight it with the uh, D-pad and then you would go ahead and add it with A. So that's one way to, you know, when you're out fighting, you use the trackpad here to bring things up. And the other way I have decided to give people the option is on the back buttons. By tapping, uh, uh, will bring up 
you know, an item and then long holding will bring up the next item on the wheel. So if you think about it, it would go um, L4, which is your top left back button would be one and two. So you tap for item number one and you'd long hold for item number two. And then uh, R4 would be uh, three and four. L5 would be five and six. And then R5 would be seven and eight. And that's by tapping for you know seven and then long holding for eight. Um, and that's another way, instead of using the trackpad to find what you're looking for, once you learn what you've got, you could do it. So if you tap L, L4 and R4, you would be your quick weapon swaps on the quick wheel, right? So that's an option there for you to get between items a lot faster. I've also added in gyro support here. Again, you can turn this off if you don't like it, but it just gives you a little bit more in terms of uh, control when aiming. Um, but you don't have to use the gyro, but I thought it was a nice touch. But thank you once again for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please give us a like and a sub. And uh, let me know if you're going to be playing the remastered or if you're just going to be using this guide here and play some original on your Steam Deck or PC or wherever you're playing on your ROG Ally or even on your uh, Levino Let You Go. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Catch ya.